Welcome, citizen, to the first episode of the Liberty Critical Research Podcast. As your media director, it is my duty to inform you that the following story may contain content some listeners may find disturbing. This podcast has been labeled explicit and is intended for mature audiences. If you feel that at any point you are uncomfortable with the presented media, please terminate your broadcast. Otherwise, stay tuned and remember, Atreus endures. Send the following message to Dr. Octavius Ayev upon arrival to the terminal. I apologize, Dr. Ayev, but I will not be in today. I was summoned elsewhere, but I forwarded my research to your desk so that you can look over it at your convenience. System 5 is still running my latest model. The results should be available in a few hours. End of message. Recording ended. Audio message saved. We have arrived at Station 10, District 4. Please disembark for Station 10. The next stop is Station 11, District 4. Welcome, Dr. Kofsky. Please continue down the hall. Are you Mrs. Tongs? Yes. Thank you for your timely appearance, Dr. Kofsky. I know that our contacting you was unexpected, but we believe we may have what you may consider a great opportunity ahead of us. Please, follow me. We've been following your work for quite some time, Dr. Kovsky. Not many people are interested in the lighter side of theoretical Fringer model interpretations. Well, not many people belong to our division. Might I ask to which division you're referring? Today you may, Dr. Kovsky. We here at the Division of Fringer Relations have taken quite an interest in your recent work. I'm surprised to hear this, on both accounts. The existence of the DFR would have been vastly influential to my work. In fact, I'm not sure how my findings could be of any use to you, as I imagine the DFR has far greater resources available than I've had during my research. Well, the accuracy of your models, given your lack of information, is actually what we find so impressive. Accuracy? You've made great strides. We believe your models have an approximate 70% accuracy in the best of cases. Although this seems low, this is an astonishing achievement. We have been browsing your files and noticed that your multiple applications to excursions to the fringe were denied. I assure you, my work would be more accurate with first-hand research. This is what we expect, Dr. Kowski. That's why you're here. I'm sorry, what do you... Why am I here? The DFR believes that you have potential. We want to give you the opportunity to advance your research. And we know that as you progress, so too shall Atreus. 
My research can only continue with additional information. If the division were to provide it, I could possibly gain five, maybe seven percent accuracy. Your thinking is limited, Dr. Kowski. We believe a direct approach is the best course of action. We want you to lead an expedition into the fringe. Uh... Your transfer was immediate, and as of 0800 hours, you are now an official resource of the Division of Fringe Relations. You no longer report to Dr. Ayev, and your current assignment commences now. What about my lab? Your lab consisted of a single desk in an overcrowded room, and your research has been at a standstill since we have released no new information to the public on Fringer social construction in the past two decades. Future research will depend on this division. And now on you, Dr. Kofsky. When do I start? You already have. And we have a briefing prepared. Assuming you formally accept the new position. This is the best opportunity I have to better Atreus. All the work I've completed in the theoretical social engineering of Fringer populations could be validated, or invalidated, by even a small excursion. I'll interpret that as your acceptance. Please continue this way, Dr. Kowski. So, I'm formally a member of the DFR. As stated earlier, Dr. Kowski, your previous employment has already been terminated. Hmm. There are a lot of stories about this place. Most of them are true, Dr. Kowski. <laughs> Where do we keep the secret army? Underground. We have more space there. <laughs> this way, Dr. Kowski. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Ponset and Dr. Fan. They are the internal directors of your operation. Everything so far has been planned by them, and soon we will be entrusting all of their hard work to you. Please be seated, Dr. Kowski. Greetings. Hello. Hi. We know that the shift to the DFR has been expedient, but now that the planning is complete, we are all ready to continue with haste. As Mrs. Tongs has hopefully informed you, you will be leading the expedition into the fringe. Specifically, sectors 2-5 and 3-5 of the southern fringe. We've had some recent reconnaissance from the northern sectors, but our information on the south is limited. Tribes, or gangs, have been forming at an alarming rate, matching several of your predictions. We believe that your inclusion of variable resource scarcity and your background in psychological health make you an ideal candidate. Thankfully, the high number, instead of high size of these gangs, has limited their actions thus far, but Director Preston would like to take a more preemptive approach and has allocated us the resources to do so. So, will I be leading the Northern team into a Southern expedition? They are... indisposed. You will have your own team. Officers from the Special Defense Force will assist you in your mission and ensure your safety. They have a basic understanding of your objective, but I would not rely on them for assistance on academic matters. We expect that you will be in the fringe for at least a few weeks, and as such, you will be given appropriate supplies. We are looking for any and all information available. Symbologies, possible culture, social structure, intergroup relations, economic activities, mindsets, and, of course, assessing the military threat these Fringers pose to Atreus, if any. It sounds as though you already have the entire mission planned. We do, and your final report will be called an ethnographic investigation of the tribes and activities of the Southern Fringe. Hmm, that's... Nice to know. You joke, but this is a very dangerous excursion. My apologies. I, I understand the gravity of the situation. Do you? These sub creatures are more vile, untrustworthy, and dangerous than anything the Department of Public Affairs is allowed to broadcast. Your research has been vastly limited because the information at your disposal has been tamed, censored, and made suitable for public access. We could never send you out prepared. This is true. You'll notice that the primitive fringers you see on broadcast differ greatly from the ones you'll encounter, which are capable of speech and higher thinking. That's why my models worked! I always assumed that, over time, given their social cohesion, they must have developed some form of speech or communication, which is indicative of higher thinking. Precisely. But don't mistake higher thinking for civility. Would I be correct in assuming that neither of you will be joining me on the mission? You will be the only science officer on this mission. Studies have shown that smaller groups are more likely to go unnoticed. In addition, to better assure your safety, you and your team will be outfitted in the guise of fringers. What sort of reports have you gotten from the Northern team? We prefer audio or audio-visual logs and the occasional digital notes when applicable, or more viable. This data will need to be stored on your person until a dead drop is reached. Otherwise, you are responsible for the safety of your research as well. Keep in mind that we have a few agents that are currently operating within the Fringe. 
If you encounter such an agent, they may be of assistance. That's not exactly what I meant. We cannot give you specific information we deem unneeded for your mission. Okay. What information do you deem needed for my mission? Do not eat anything that does not come from a sealed meal canister and boil any water before consumption. In particular, social situations, you may be required to de-emphasize your status and allow the soldiers to project the illusion of leadership. Fringers value physical superiority far more than Atrians. A physically weak leader is generally deemed abnormal, and this would draw attention to your party. You might be seen as a prize, someone with a useful skill that can be claimed by a tribe. Anything else? That's all for now. You'll be meeting the members of your team immediately. But before you do so, we'd like to give you this. A recording device? Starting today, we would like you to keep your audio or audio-visual notes regarding your mission on this device at regular intervals, as you will not be able to bring your privacy hood with you into the fringe. We will dismiss your audio recording today as practice, but we will need you to make a log for the day as you're officially on DFR allocation. You can make the log on the way to Sector 11. We will be meeting your team there. When do we leave? Now. Reeve endures. Reeve endures. May your research benefit Atreus. How do I turn this thing on? Oh, it's recording. Um... You're holding it upside down. Thank you. So, my name is Dr. Marta Lukowski of the Department of Research and Div... The Department of Special Services, Division of Fringer Relations. We know that. You're going to have to state the time and date at the start of each recording. We need to be able to put your excursion in clear chronological order. Right. Um, <clears throat> today is the first day of the fifth month in the year 709. It is exactly 9.22, and today I have been introduced to my new position as the lead science officer of the Southern Fringe Excursion. I was selected for this position because of my previous research in the fields of social engineering and psychological health, specifically as it relates to my most recent work in theoretical Fringer model interpretations. I am to be fitted for my new assignment and introduced to my new team shortly. We are currently traveling to an undisclosed location in Sector 11, and it's a bit dark down here. <sighs> on a personal note, as a psychological health professional, I believe I'm uncomfortable in the dark. You'll have to resolve that, Dr. Koski. It is also my professional opinion that Mrs. Tongs really likes my name. Or maybe just names. Perhaps it helps her remember them better. As I was saying, this change in my life is entirely unprecedented, and it is the most exciting and frightening thing to have ever happened to me. I am optimistic that I will live up to the standards put forth by the Division and that my research will benefit Atreus as a whole. We've all heard the stories of the Fringe, and hearing that it's somehow worse than my worst imaginings is, admittedly, unnerving. I've been informed by the directors of my operation that I will be assigned a protective entourage consisting of Special Defense Force officers. As our numbers are expected to be few, even this does not put my fears at ease. I would never turn down such an opportunity, but for posterity, I'd like to state that I'm still hesitant. I'm excited, I'm scared, and I'm proud. And I'm slightly confused as to how long these audio logs have to be. Uh, this okay, Mrs. Tongs? Yes, that will be fine, Dr. Kovsky. I'm Dr. Marta Lukovsky with the DFS, and I like the sound of that. Thank you for listening to the Liberty Podcast. Episode 1 of Liberty Critical Research was written by Caitlin Statz and co-created and produced by Travis Van Groff. The voice of Dr. Marta Lukowski was Paul Maya. Mrs. Tongs and Oriella Stolo were Caitlin Statz. Miss Paulset was Caitlin Sanzo. And Dr. Fon was special guest David Cummings. David Cummings is the producer of the No Sleep Podcast. If you enjoy horror audio fiction, check out the No Sleep Podcast, available on iTunes. The music and sound for this broadcast were recorded and designed by Careless Juja. If you have enjoyed listening to Liberty Critical Research, please rate and review us on iTunes. To support the Liberty Podcast, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash libertypodcast. Liberty is a Fool and Scholar production. This production is copyright 2015 by John Dossinger Publishing. And Liberty is a trademark of Travis Van Groff. Thank you for listening, and may the Archon watch over you.